Okay, so good morning everybody. Those of you who are watching this on our YouTube channel, Northampton Melvoice Choir YouTube channel or other, other uh, routes to channel are available. We have this morning the one and the only Mr. Paul Darnell. Say hi, Paul. Hi. There he is, all the way from sunny... Rushton. Rushton. Um, so this is 10 o'clock on Friday the 16th. <laughs> <laughs> Track of time, are you? Every day is a Friday, isn't it? Every day is the same day. Because this is, uh, I suppose, in years to come, when we look at this back on YouTube, uh, people will be wondering, what are they talking about? Yeah, this is it's, just, the, oh, it's just a blip. Just yes, a blip. A COVID-19 blip. People will be saying, oh, Grandad, what did you do back in the COVID-19 years, uh, months? <laughs> well, we drank a lot. <laughs> we did a lot of Zooming. <clears throat> so this is our Zooming interview with, uh, with Paul. Uh, I thought. I mean, the, the reason for starting this was to, to to begin a process of connecting with people and maybe opportunity to share with some of the other members of the choir a little bit of background information because we go to choir on a Tuesday night, we do the singing thing, and then we all go home again, and we perhaps don't get to know each other at a, at a slightly deeper level. So here's an opportunity for us to have a little chat and uh, get to know you a little bit. So Paul, over to you. Do you want to tell us about your life? Yeah, certainly. I was actually born in Bedfordshire, in uh, Kempston, which used to have the accolade of being the largest uh, village in the world. Seriously? Okay. Uh, but it's since been regraded as a town. It's probably the smallest town in the world now. Right. Okay. Um, I was born, actually born at home in those days. You didn't go to hospital. I was born at home. Um, did the usual schooling thing. Um, joined a church choir when I was seven. I was forced to by my sister, who was two years older than me, okay. so she dragged me along, which was how I learned to read music, because the choir master was a, a tartar, right. um, ten times worse than you. I'm a man chicken feed, really. <laughs> but he, he, he beat the music into us, uh, and that's where I love music. Then I, um, I went to Bedford Modern School, which, which is one of the um, fee-paying schools, past 11 plus. Good school. Um, and I, most people think of me as a policeman but I've only been a policeman for the last 10 years of my life I started life as a scientist okay. uh, I went to uh, joined Unilever uh, which is um, a huge multinational uh, concern uh, and I was at the research uh, establishment at Sharnbrook in Bedfordshire okay. and I was uh, a microbiologist uh, so I'm very familiar with pandemics and antibiotics oh, microbiologist did you know Peter Collier Yes. But did you know him from, from that workplace? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a bigger concern. When I went there, there were 1,500 people working there. I was in a small part of it. I mean, it, it was full of, oh, I was in microbiology, uh, but there was all sorts of things there. And so after five years, I decided to leave microbiology and moved into uh, food technology because you could because Unilever is multinational, yeah. multi-product. You, you know, you, there was a time when you could not buy anything in a shop that wasn't owned by Unilever or yeah. supplied by Unilever. They were clever. They created their own com competition, didn't they? They, they did, yes. Um, so I moved into food technology and... Uh, uh, Have we lost you there, Paul? Oh. Let me just...